So you could probably already tell by the headphones that I'm wearing that this is something a little different than what I've already posted. Today we are going to be doing a reaction to House of the Dragon Episode 1. As you know, I hate on Game of Thrones a lot because it was one of those shows that I always truly, truly loved, but it went so far downhill in Season 7 and 8 that it left a really bad taste in my mouth. I figured in this video, let me do the impossible and watch House of the Dragon and see if we actually like it. I'm going to do a bit of a reaction in this, but I'm not going to show too much of the clip. You're going to see it on screen here, um, and then you're going to get me reacting to moments, and then I'm going to talk about it at the end uh, to see if I'm going to stick with it. I might like it. I might not. Either way, the bad taste that Game of Thrones left is still there, and I don't think it's ever going to go away. So I am going into this series skeptical, but what I plan to do is this episode and then I plan to do a recap. If I stick with it, I plan to do a recap of the entire, you know, series uh, from, you know, first episode to the last episode. I don't know how many they are, but let's jump right in. We're going to watch House of the Dragon. We're going to react to it together. Let's jump in and react here. I really hope they don't lean into the dragons too much in this show. I don't really give a shit about the dragons, to be completely honest with you. Oh, my God, it's King's Landing. That's sick. Wow. Holy crap. CGI, in my opinion, does not look good, though. Like, this looks like something out of Shrek right now. CGI is not good. Oh my god, that really does look fake, though. Like, it looks like a young Daenerys. So crazy to be back in King's Landing. Like, that looks so good. Even though it looks a little CGI, it looks so good. This definitely feels like Game of Thrones so far, which is good. It kind of it kind of feels like you're back in like the original Game of Thrones. I'm liking that. I mean, I hope they keep up with it, but it's definitely good to feel like you're back in King's Landing and that it's like actually done well to some extent. But I don't know. I guess time will tell. My God. Wow. It's so crazy being back here, especially after what happened in season eight with Jamie and uh, Cersei. These wigs literally look so fake on everyone. Why do they go from two different languages, though? What's the point of that? I hate when shows do that, man. Not to say I hate this so far, but I hate when shows do that. The hour has grown late. Come on. <laughs> what is this elf outfit that guy's wearing? <laughs> I mean, why do they look like elves? Like, what the fuck? That's, this is why I'm not a fan of medieval shows and things like that. I mean, I felt that way in Game of Thrones, too. Doesn't mean the show's bad. It's just silly to me. And it might have been real. I don't know. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? All right, this is stupid, man. That was stupid. Did we really need a bare ass and a fart joke in this episode? Are you kidding me? So this guy's kind of an asshole. Well, it wouldn't be great Game of Thrones without a little bit of sex, I guess. See, it's like weird when you're with your parents watching a sex show, because I used to watch Game of Thrones with my parents. But now it's weirder watching a sex scene in front of a camera. This is like if I look too into it, I'm, I'm looking like a horny bastard. But if I don't look into it, it's just weird. I don't know. Just <laughs> just thinking out loud. Not like I'm into it or anything, but it is fucking weird. I, I don't really like sex scenes in shows. I feel like they take they take a lot out of the moment. I mean, but Game of Thrones is very sex oriented. Dude, the act of I think this is jousting. I don't even know what it's called. If this is called jousting, it's what it's called. I don't know. But the act of it is just so terrible. <laughs> like medieval sport just is so funny to me. It really is. Look, oh, I have an idea. Let's just ram these big sticks at one another on horseback. So stupid. Dude, that shit would hurt. That would hurt so bad. Damn. Such a nasty sport, man. Man, I've heard stories about this scene. I heard this scene is rough. Dude, that screaming is just so awful. What the f what the hell? Damn. Sounds fucking disgusting. Ugh. I heard they're gonna show it too. 
Oh my god, I don't want to see this. They bet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why do they have to show that stuff, man? Like, this is what I was talking about in my in my um Last of Us video. Like, you don't need to show that stuff for it to be a compelling story, but there's a fine line, right? There's like too much and too little. This is way too much. I don't need to see all this stuff. It's disgusting. And why would you put that in your first episode? You know what I mean? Like, I don't I don't know. I don't hate it. Like, I could tolerate it, but too much of it is too much. And I, I, Game of Thrones was for sure always very violent. But like, do we really need to see them cutting open a woman for pregnancy? Like, I, I don't I don't think that's necessary. I mean, it's definitely having people talk. I heard about this. I heard about the scene before, but like still nasty. Ew, 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 ew. Uh. <gasps> OK, I can't look. I could only look through my actual screen that I'm watching myself record. Uh, it's disgusting. It's disgusting and unnecessary. Ah. Uh, uh, so disgusting, dude. It's so, f so disgusting. Why do they got to show that? Ah. Uh, man's not going to die. I mean, what I will say is. I kind of liked what they did, but still. I mean, the acting is fantastic. I don't know this guy's name. So good. And well, he did have a son, at least. Say it. Even the dragon's like, say it, bitch. Dracarys. I love how they like the dragons just magically feel emotion. I mean, I guess they're dragons. They're already mythical creatures. Maybe there is something there. I don't know. <laughs> Dragon was hesitant. Like, are you sure? Like, <laughs> it's so stupid, man. I don't know. I'm not really liking this so far, to be honest with you. It's good. The acting's good. I've heard it gets fantastic, to be honest with you. I've heard from a lot of people. I've been like... I've been like interviewing this show with people who've seen it. Unless I missed something, I didn't see them directly express that the son died. Like they showed him like coughing or something and the doctor looked at him funny. Did I miss it? Maybe I was talking to the camera when it happened, but I didn't. I had a feeling that's where they were going. But I guess... As a first reaction, I'm definitely not paying close enough attention to the show. The show definitely requires full attention. So I guess over the span of my watch, if I decide to continue to watch this show, um, I guess I'll pay more attention. That's why I'm only doing this one as a reaction. I think the rest I'm going to do just behind the scenes. I feel like they casted people that were meant to look familiar to Game of Thrones. <laughs> Guys, mid fuck, like literally. <laughs> These actors are fantastic, by the way. Both of them, Damon and um, this guy. I don't know his name, Mister Targaryen. <laughs> Fucking no. Okay, so I'm assuming that's it. Yep. Okay, that's it. Okay, so that was the first episode of House of the Dragon. You can see it's literally just in the end credits right now. I just finished watching it, and I'm going to be honest with you. I don't really know how to feel about it. Like, okay, this is the first episode, so you obviously have to establish stuff. I do totally understand that. Um, I, I guess I have a mixed bag of feelings. Obviously, I don't have a script or anything. I literally just finished watching, but... The episode was good, a little too violent, a little too heavy on the sex, and 
I don't know. It definitely, for sure, it felt like Game of Thrones. There's no doubt about that. It felt like we stepped right back into the world of Westeros, and I do really like that, no matter what. So I am excited to see where that brings. I will continue to watch, because I like the direction that they went in with Rhaenyra becoming uh, the successor and stuff like that, and Daemon uh, seems like a very interesting character. But I gotta be completely honest with you. Ooh, I think this is starting the next episode. I don't want that. I gotta be completely honest with you, though. I didn't really love the episode, I, and 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 that's okay because every establishing episode kind of takes a little bit of time, and they understand that these are Game of Thrones fans watching the show, so they understand that it's going to get better. Things need to progress, and they need to establish some things. This isn't a show that's starting brand new. You know what I mean? They already have an audience. So for that reason, I completely understand why this episode wasn't like the best of the best. I just don't like some of the things they did like the and I heard about this before, but I didn't like the scene uh, with um, the wife's I forget her name being cut open to get the baby out. They didn't need to show that they didn't need to sh uh, show all the violence. And yes, Game of Thrones was very violent for sure. But that being said, they don't they don't need to tap into it like too much. I, I wasn't a fan of all of that. It was very disgusting. And that's that's a pretty big decision to make for your first episode. Um, I kind of hope the rest of the show doesn't get as violent as something like that like we do not need to see all of that we don't need to see some guy's hand in the stomach to get a baby out and uh makes me feel so uncomfortable even thinking about it that was gross that was just disgusting and then some of the other stuff like there was a scene in this episode where there was a bear man's butt and he farted why do we need to see that like it's just stupid and childish and it kind of like takes you out of the element of game of thrones and what made it special and yes uh, uh, on that level Level. Sex was a very big thing in Game of Thrones. Uh, so we obviously saw the same stuff here. Sex is very prevalent in the show and all of that. But I don't know. Like, I... <sighs> I feel like they honed in a little too much this episode to try to be like, look, we're Game of Thrones, but we're not Game of Thrones. We're not going to, like, make that same mistake. But who knows? I mean, I, I still, no matter what, and even if we get through this whole season, I'm never going to think that they aren't going to ruin it inevitably because, to be honest with you, the show just has a bad stain in my mouth. I tried to be as neutral as I could in this first viewing the episode itself was good like the drama pieces were good i think the highlight of this episode was seeing damon and uh mr targaryen i don't freaking know his name uh the main guy to see them kind of like hash their stuff i really hope they focus on that in this show because i liked that a lot I hope we get to see more of it, and I'm sure they will. I've seen, you know, I've seen reviews and things like that of Game of or of House of the Dragon. So I know he stays around. I've seen, unfortunately, some of the spoiled things happen, but I don't know how they happen. So I'm very excited to see that. Um, I don't think I'm going to be recording all of these episodes as as you know videos like this um but i will definitely be making a review at the end of my watch through i'm like uncertain about it but i'm still going to give the rest of it another shot because i've heard nothing but good things so that being said i will check it out i didn't love this episode but you know, it was it definitely felt like we were back in another episode of Game of Thrones and some of the highlights were great. Like the actors in it are really, really strong, but there's just so many elements that have taken me out that I'm not too big of a fan of. Some of the dialogue was a little silly in it. Uh, the wigs are definitely silly in it. And just overall, I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm. This was like a mid episode for me. So if the rest of the show is like this, I'm probably not going to really like it. But if it improves, which I definitely see it improving, to be honest with you, I could see where they're going. And I like that. Um, it should be interesting, to say the least. It should be interesting. Uh, this episode lost me at times, but it was it was definitely a setup definitely set up and that's really all i have to say i'm just trying to be as honest as i could be i hope it gets better but it wasn't bad it just wasn't great like it didn't wow me it was just okay we're back the cgi is a little worse the dialogue is a little goofy but we're back and then that fart to be honest with you as as crazy as it sounds 
I I'm I like dick and fart jokes to be completely honest with you. I think they're funny. But in a show like this, why did we need to see a fart? Like why why? It was just stupid. It it kind of it really like took me out of the episode to be completely honest with you. I just thought it was silly, but whatever. I can't get that out of my head. I don't know why. I just think it kind of goes to show that this first episode kind of was like a fart to be honest with you. Don't hate it, but it was just like mm, I don't know. There's a lot of gross moments. So I don't know how to feel about it. I guess, I guess we'll stick through, but uh, that's my reaction to the first episode of game of Thrones uh, 2.0 really house of the dragon. Anyway, with all of that out of the way, I hope you liked this video. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will be back for a full series breakdown of house of the dragon. If I like it, if I don't like it so far, I'm just meh, like, it's all right, but we'll see where it goes. With that out of the way, thank you so much for watching this video, and until the next one, I'll talk to you later. Peace out.